In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these handy strainer lids that you can use when you're making sprouting jars, when you're drying herbs, and we just want to strain things out of your canning jars. So stay tuned. We'll show you how to make them in today's video. Rebel Canners, teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. And we can all use a little more of the old ways these days. Be sure to check out our apothecary series. I know you're going to like it. Welcome back, Rebel Canners. Today I'm going to show you a quick trick I found on TikTok to make sprouting jars or if you just want to dry some herbs and you need a mesh cover to keep bugs out or whatever, this works great. Let me show you. You just need one thing from the dollar store. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these handy strainer lids that you can use when you're making sprouting jars, when you're drying herbs, and we just want to strain things out of your canning jars. Go to the dollar store and buy one of these grease covers. Put the size jar you want on. You can see I've already made some on here. Trace it out with a mag uh, Sharpie and then just cut it out with your scissors. Give me a second. I can't do this one-handed. Okay, you can see I traced it out. I can't cut it one-handed either. Give me a second. And there you have it. This one I might have missed a little spot there. <clears throat> Hard to do one-handed, but you get the idea. Just trace them out. You can use the lid to trace. Once you put this on there, and this one I think I got a little too far to that side. But for a dollar twenty-five, you can see you can make several of these. I've made some small mouth ones, and I'm doing large mouth ones for sprouting jars. This one I'm going to use to dry some violet petals for violet tea. So there you have it. Quick, easy, $1.25, and you've got sprouting lids. Have a great day, Rubble Canners. On April 24th, we had 325,000 views. We revamped some things on the channel, and... And don't forget to celebrate with me. On May 12th, we hit 350,000 views. I have a slew of rhubarb recipes coming soon. I hope you like this video. Please be sure to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. Thank you, as always. See you later, Rebel Canners. And like all my videos, they are dedicated to my mom. If you see an empty chair in my video, that is in honor of my mom. <laughs>